Welcome back to the second channel guys. Today we're doing a really special video that you guys actually request. So about a month ago we posted this video right here. This is where we took these four pellets, grouped them together, and seen which one shot best out of my gun sitting right over there. I'm not going to tell you the results. You're going to have to go watch that one on yourself. But today we're going to be doing the same exact test except not accuracy. We're going for damage and penetration. Now whenever you look at this we have a couple different kinds okay. We have this one right here which is a gamo training match. It's really flat tip supposed to fly really well. But it's a flat tip. The corporations have told us flat tips are not good for hunting and penetration. We're going to test that. Then we have these Crossman Premier. They're hollow points. Hollow points are supposed to expand when they hit the target and flatten out, transferring more energy. We'll see about that. Then we have these, which are pointy pellets. Pointy stuff are pointy. Arrows are pointed. Why won't those be like arrows? Then we have these, which are like hollow points, but they're ballistic tips. Has little red plastic things. We're going to see if they actually do anything. Let me take y'all on out here and we'll show you what we're going to be doing to test these. All right, so this right here is some ballistic shell. If you don't know what this is, it is a rubbery plasticky stuff that simulates flesh and so for example if we can get a bullet that goes six inches into this we can safely assume it will go six inches into something like deer flesh or coyote flesh or bird flesh i don't know but whenever you're hunting animals there's usually a thick outer layer of skin and maybe even the skull if you're going for a headshot on a squirrel so we're getting this it's a packet but it's pretty much wood because paper and wood's the same thing. I'm gonna set it up right here, okay? That way the pellets have something hard to hit, hit into, and then if they come out the back, we'll see what they do once they get into this stuff. I'm actually gonna do two different tests. I'm gonna do one test where I shoot each pellet into plain ballistic gel, and then the same exact test, but they're gonna have to go through this and hit this first. That way, in case one of them doesn't expand like it's supposed to, y'all can't tell me it needs to hit something hard, because this is really hard. But, um, yeah. All right, let's go shoot the first few pellets into the gel as it is. We'll start off with these, the match. These are supposed to be great for accuracy, but not for hunting, or at least that's what they say. We're about to find out today. All right, that one definitely went pretty hard into the gel. Next, we're going with these hollow points. Also made a pretty good sound. Now we're going into the pointy tips. Will the pointy tips act like a nail and drive further? I don't know. And another really important thing about this test that we're doing is that we're not doing point blank range, okay? This is a hunting test. We put it out there probably 30 yards or something. That way we can have the energy of a realistic hunting shot. Unless you're just walking up doming squirrels in the park, then you can probably get a lot closer, but that's kind of legal, I think. Maybe not. That one also sounded pretty good. Now up for these right here, okay? These look mean. These cost a lot. If these aren't special and they don't have a special performance, are they worth the special price? Let's go check them out. Now before we go over there, I want to hear you guys' predictions. Which ones do you think is going to do the best? Which ones do you think is going to do the worst? Do you think some of them is going to penetrate better than the other? Or maybe one of them, maybe the hollow points are going to flatten out more? I don't know. You got to tell me down in the comments. I'm going to say, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that every single one of them has the same exact performance. That's just me. What are your predictions? I want to say that that little lead one probably went the farthest to pointy one. And then probably second will be the crossman. Because I don't think it'll expand. That's my predictions. All right, let's see what we got. From what I can tell, oh, actually, they didn't go the same. I am going to dig them out here with my KG pocket knife because I want to dig in there to see if they actually expanded. Because if they expanded, that matters a lot. Oh, wow. There was one that was definitely deeper than all the others. Now, the knife I'm about to use to cut into the ballistic gel is a KG pocket knife. Super sharp. It's the knife we make. If you want to buy it, that definitely helps support the channel. It comes in all these different colors right here. And then if you're interested in a hoodie, you can get this one right here as well. It's the KG Black Bear hoodie. It's really warm. Got a nice little logo on it. And overall, super comfortable. KendallGrayWorld.com slash shop or first link in the description. Use promo code AIRGUN10 for 10% off anything on the store. Now let's get in here and cut this up and see what we got. Oh, I'm just going to have to dig way in there to get it. Not an easy task, I can say that. Mm -mm. Oh, check that out. Whoa, whoa. All right, so you can see that the red tip right there, right? You see it? It went in that far. Now, that pellet right there, wow, the flat tip penetrated the same. But what we may not notice, if we don't look closely, is that the flat tip actually went way out to here and then bounced back and opened up a huge hole in there. So, ballistically... Damage wise, so far that one has did the most. The one that they said was not good for hunting. And this one, you can see what it did. It went in right here, 
traveled straight in and then made it to about right here then actually turned around that's a pretty perfect little analyzation whatever and as for this one let's go ahead and cut in here pull out the exact pellet it didn't expand yeah so you can take it out here it uh, didn't really expand at all that tip just fell out after i started handling it but yeah, it didn't expand at all. They put those red tips in there so that they can have a hollow point, but the red tip helps it with aerodynamics and stuff. But it works on actual bullets that are moving like 3,000 feet per second. But on these, they don't really go in that fast just out of an air gun. Well, that one didn't expand at all. It'll be interesting to see if it actually expands more after it hits the paper, though. So there's those two. The next one went in right here. There's no way. Did it go all the way through? Yes, it did. One just went all the way through. Right here, it went in right here traveled all the way through and came out right over here on the edge i'm not really sure which one that is yet but i'm gonna go ahead and dig out this last one to find out exactly which one that was i wouldn't have thought that me neither this one that i'm about to pull out i'm still unsure of exactly which one it is i think that's a holler point then or by theory it should be it's not really no this is the pointy one that's the one I said would do the best. Yeah, and it did the worst. Which that means, through process of elimination, the hollow point went all the way through. I mean, I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. I ain't mad. I ain't mad at that. That's the pellet my gun likes to shoot the best. But uh, yeah, there's those three pellets. Now we're going to move on to something a little bit different. For one, can it penetrate the paper? Because pointy things penetrate better. And uh, flat things tend to just smack. This is where we'll see how that flat tip does once it has to hit something hard. We're gonna set it right there. We're just gonna shoot it in straight there. Here we go, see what happens. We're gonna go right in the same order we went in first, shooting the flat pellet, then moving on to the hollow points that actually did really good, and then on down the line. I wanna say this, I'm not sure of the weight of all these pellets, but what I can say for sure is that none of them are significantly heavier than the other. They're all about the same. None of these are like twice the weight of the other ones, so. Here we go, through the paper, into the gel. Right. I figured it would have sounded different when it hit the paper. That one did. Okay, okay. Then finishing off with these hollow points, which should expand the moat. All right, all four of them hit the paper. Let's go see what they did to the paper. All right, I also want you guys to go down and comment what are your theory, what are your, what are your predictions here? I want to first peel it back. All four of them went through really good no problems there and um me just looking at them did any of them go all the way through the answer is no that's our first question those two pulled more paper onto the block they all three went roughly the same give or take um half an inch but there is one right here that did not go very far at all go ahead and cut this block all the way open so that we can see exactly what happened all right, the hollow point appears to have went overall the furthest. Check it out, but not, but not by much. Check out its uh, deformation. Next up, as we take a look in here, you can see the difference between the flat. Here is the flat on the this side. Not bad penetration. Still gonna kill whatever you want. Look at all the paper it drug in there though with it. I know. So far in our test, this one's done one of the best besides the hollow point. The hollow point, which is that one right there, once again penetrated the most. But now that one right there also did some pretty good damage. It done a little deforming too. Check it out. Next, I'll pull out the ballistic tip and we'll see what it looks like. Yeah. I'm going to pull this one out. This is the ballistic tip. It went in penetration about normal. Nothing to brag about. Nothing crazy compared to anything else. Once again, not as much deformation as you'd maybe expect out of a polymer tip or whatever. Polymer dip did come out, but just as I was messing with it. You can check out the deformation on it. Once again, nothing crazy. Just uh, about the same as all the others. And then finally, with the daisy pointed tip, it's not as pointed anymore, but not a lot. It's not really a significant amount. Here's what I want to know from you guys. From this test, we found, does pellet shape actually matter that much for penetration and killing? I'm going to say no. Because, yeah, one did penetrate a little bit more than the other, but at the end of the day, they were all within one inch and 10% of each other. So, I want to hear from you guys. Have you ever had experiences hunting with one that's not necessarily a hunting one, and have you had any problems with it? If so, tell me down in the comments, and then talk to other people down in the comments that may have had similar situations. If you haven't seen the accuracy test, click right over here to watch it, or right over here for a video where we tested a 22 air gun, 17 air gun, versus a 22 long rifle. 